Welcome to our channel. It's Heo's Marketplace News. This is Alex. All right. Now, I hope that everyone is doing great for today. Whatever you're doing, just pause for a moment because I will be giving you the latest news update for today. All right. So, guys, this news is brought to us by PCN or Preferred Currency News. So, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe afterwards. All right. So, um, here. Our news for today, cryptocurrency courses becoming more popular among college students. Wow, is this for real? Let's find out. Now, colleges and universities throughout the U.S. are continuing to add more cryptocurrency and blockchain-based courses, proving that millennials and younger generations are very excited about the prospects of Bitcoin and its crypto cousins. Now, such courses are now available at some of the country's top education institutions, including Cornell, Stanford, and MIT, as well as at some international universities. In fact, some of these institutions, such as Yale, are even beginning to invest their endowment funds into various cryptocurrency funds. Okay. Now, Associate, uh, associate professor, a Professor of Computer Science, Emin Gunn Syrer, is employed through Cornell University. During the first half of last year, he offered an advanced course on blockchain technology designed for PhD students that roughly 88 individuals, reg individuals registered for. He says, usually when you have five to a dozen students in such a class, you're teaching a popular class. If it was interesting to see that, lev that level of interest, we are not teaching people how to use today's blockchains. Tomorrow's blockchains will look nothing like today's. Right, he has a point. Blockchain, a staple of modern education. Now, Kevin Wareback of the University of Pennsylvania attributes the popularity of these classes to the fact that blockchain poten um, potentially holds a place in multiple industries including sociology, finance, and economics. He believes students want to prepare themselves for the future and be aware of the technology before too much time passes. He comments, in order to understand blockchain well, you actually need to learn a bunch of subjects that we already teach in the university. Things like economics and finance and law and distributed systems and uh, in engineering, I think someone who is taking a bunch of related courses because they're interested in blockchain is going to get a well-rounded education that is going to serve them well and be useful even if this industry falls apart. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sire agrees, adding, what you want to avoid at all costs is over-specialization early on in your career. Now, if you end up going to a program dedicated to blockchain, I think personally would say you're making a mistake. The right thing to do is establish a broad, strong base. Okay, schools are investing into crypto. Ooh, that's cool. Yale, Harvard, Stanford, Dartmouth, the University of North Carolina, and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology have recently made investments into at least one cryptocurrency fund. These endowment funds do operate within a specific university framework which separates the money men from the universities, but Cyrus believes it's a step in the right direction he mentions. Um, he mentions that the investment arm of universities is typically entirely independent of its scholastic mission. Wow, yes, being independent is a good thing. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, what we have here is an organic decision by the money, people that this area is lucrative and has staying power. 
Um, this doesn't necessarily imply anything at that acad uh, academic level. In fact, academics are typically set in their ways and can trail behind the, re the reality in the trenches by years. Universities have historically followed two investment strategies with their endowment funds. Most have followed a very conservative strategy of investing in household names and solid sectors. While a few savvy schools have taken on risky bets in emerging areas to big gains, we are now seeing a mix of schools from the relatively risk averse MIT to the more Mavery Harvard take the same position that this area is here to stay. All right, so guys, that's the news for today. And don't please don't forget to subscribe. That's preferredcurrency.news. All right, preferredcurrency.news. You can subscribe for two options. You can use your PayPal for monthly recurring. That's only fifteen dollars per month a fiat, or you can use the Coinbase option. That's only one hundred eighty dollars annual subscription to be paid with your favorite crypto. All right, so. In the website itself, you can see or you can watch more videos, okay? And you can contact directly if you have questions or queries before you subscribe. You can contact Donald Lewis. Um, his contact details are um, available in the website. Or you can directly message him here. Your name is required. Your email is required. Your message, of course, and just hit send. Okay? So, guys, please, please, please subscribe now. It will be a good investment to everyone because you will be the first one to get notified. Um, that's why I email every day. Um, you will get the information 12 hours before we upload or we will be live on, on YouTube. So <clears throat> it will be very convenient for you to access the information and updates and news about your favorite digital currency, right? Okay. So guys, when you subscribe, then you can have this newsletter every day. As you can see, you can open this website. The articles are available, some reliable and useful um, websites also you can open here you can check out and of course the donald's research list it is very accessible it's you just need to um click this open spreadsheet and then you can have this one every day right again it's via email every day this one so if you want to know the status of your favorite token or coin then you can check out here but guys be be mindful that this information this one is not available on any website or any uh, um, on the internet only here at preferred currency okay because it's um donald's research list so right so if you will be one of our subscribers then you can have this one you can have the advantage of getting a copy of the Donald's research list okay so guys um just a reminder to everyone before I go uh, we are not in here at EO's marketplace news we are not financial advisors okay so we highly recommend that every token or coin um, that we mentioned already or that we will be mentioning in our videos Please, please, please uh, do your own research about them because we did our own and you can decide for yourself afterwards, right? I, I hope we are agreeing, right? <clears throat> we are on the same page. So, guys, that's it for today's. So, for more videos and for more updates, please subscribe and hit that like button, okay? Thank you so much. This has been Alex now signing off. Bye.